We know LA is the place for laughs. We need more of it, right? It's also the home of the biggest comedy festival. I saw the billboards years ago because of the pandemic. It was delayed. It's back. Netflix is a joke. It's about to kick off this week. And joining me, it's Robbie Pra, vice president of stand up and comedy formats at Netflix. Welcome, Robbie. We also have the famous comedian Mo Ammer. Welcome. We're ready to laugh. We're ready to have a good time. Tell me about the festival. Starts tomorrow, <laughs> so we're gonna be. There's gonna be. It's too many comedians coming to it town. Is, it we is. We have a lot. <laughs> a lot of comedians. Yeah. It's over 250 comedians. Wow. There's almost 300 shows in LA. Wow. We have wow. Gabriel Iglesias selling out Dodger Stadium. <laughs> Dave Chappelle Show four off. shows at the Hollywood Bowl. John Mulaney at the Forum and the Hollywood Bowl. Incredible. We have a lot of shows happening, and this <laughs> man over this here guy. doing plenty <laughs> of shows this week. Doing shows this week. I've been doing introducing, which is really important part of the yeah. festival, aside of the seasoned vets that come through. And, and we usually don't get to see each other because everybody's doing different cities at the same time. So this is like a really a great coming home party for a lot of comedians to spend time together, jump on each other's shows, surprise each other's fans. It's a lot of fun. But introducing in particular, you know, giving the young comedians that are coming up an opportunity to showcase what they've been working on and, and, and giving them a an opportunity to show what they're doing. You're, you're like the season promo. Um, already two specials on Netflix mm. that have done so well. I mean, is this is this? Do you still get nervous? You know, having having all this doing this. I get more nervous <laughs> doing this to be honest. Live like, on KCAL, this is more nervous. KCAL, I was just staring at the screen like, are we doing this, Robbie? Is this happening? How long am I contractually obligated to do these things? Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Two yeah, more minutes. two more. That's it. It's really getting hot out here. I'm glad. Roadmap. Uh, what are we doing? Right, right. Just Netflix read the prompter. <laughs> read the prompter. No. Uh, but how great, I mean, and, and because I mentioned it was delayed because yeah. of the pandemic, to have everyone back in one stadium, in one venue, laughing and sharing in I, these jokes. I mean, it's, I mean we, we announced our last festival in March of 2020. So, you know, yeah. so we've been, we've been planning this for yeah. years. And I think what's happened in the last two years, it's, it's turned into like a civic event. You know, even mm -hmm. for the comedians, it's going to be the first time that everyone gets to see mm -hmm. each other after yeah. so long. And uh, there's really never been an event like this. This is the biggest comedy festival ever put together. And it's for LA. We're from the Dodger Stadium to the Hollywood Bowl, to the Greek, to the Forum, to the Troubadour, to the Comedy wow. Store. Oh, that's and cool. uh, not only do we have great comics like Mo, we have our casts of some of your favorite Netflix shows are coming. So the cast of Cobra Kai or Never Have I Ever. And it's all it's happening so over 10 doing days. doing table reads of like all your favorite shows, like four, four different shows, yeah. I think it is. Yeah, it was just so cool. I was so interested in that as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Let me know if you need tickets. Yeah, yeah, by the way. yeah. He, he's, he's unhooked up yet. Okay. Yeah, uh, no, and I'm tickets not. are still available. That's what's so exciting. Mo, can I ask you as a comedian? Some, most of them are sold out. So most are sold out. So you, you better to get on to, it now. Uh, Netflix is a joke. Fest.com. There's a lot of great okay. seats for some shows. And yeah. really quickly, Mo, just at, you know, some words of advice. What's the hardest thing about being a comedian, you know, and, and planning the stand up and, and just a little tidbit? Doing local television. Uh, <laughs> this is it. This is. You've oh, now reached no. the height of the. Uh... Like stand up is all about like repetition and putting time in, into the art form. It's not something you can just fake, and and pretend to do. It requires a lot of effort and time, uh, to to get great at stand up comedy. So, that's that's one of the probably the hardest things is just making as much time as possible to dedicate to an art form that is requires so much out of you. And, and that's it, that's really it. And that's really good because a lot of time I think, oh, it's ad lib or it's just shoot from the hip, but no. Yeah, all, all the above, yeah. all yeah. the above. It <laughs> just depends, it, everybody operates yeah. differently. Some yeah. people have to write every single word out. Some people need an audience yeah. to actually, uh, to get them, yeah, to feed off of, to get them to where wow. they need to go, yeah. I'm excited, excited for you guys. Best of luck, we'll be watching and laughing. So please come on out, Netflix is a joke. Get those tickets. The festival it kicks off this week. It runs all the way through May 8th. For more information, you can also head to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. You Thank made you. it through a live segment on this, KCAL 9. This was, all, this was good. It was easy. Can I time. do the weather mix? Should yeah. we do the weather? Oh, like Marquina's yeah. ready. Yeah. <laughs> you guys Perfect. take a break. We got you. Perfect. Coming back, we'll let you do that.